first Del Mar CD. Uh, Carl, you better know what you're doing when you keep hanging around my door. That's not my first record. That's my first CD. First record I recorded was in 1959 when I was 16 years old. Down at Hall Studio, y'all don't remember that. That was downtown on Wabash. Wow. <laughs> you straight, Tony? <laughs> Am I too loud, y'all? No. Better know. One, two, three. <laughs>
Y'all want to hear EG on the bass? You got him. EG rocks the house. He liked that shit. Look at him. what I'm going to do. Like I said, there ain't going to be no lot of talking here. I got the boys here tonight, so anything may jump off. I feel good with these guys. These guys been all over the world with me. And uh, I'm going to do something here. Uh, I came up with this. Naturally, it's a blues. It's a 12 bar. But when we were first composed, this is Smoker Robinson. And y'all know Smokey don't do 12 bar. He don't, in other words, he don't compose blues. But I took one of his tunes and turned it into a 12 bar blues. And I'm not gonna sing it pretty like Eddie Kendricks, one of the most beautiful voices in the world of The Temptation. This is called Get Ready, Jimmy Burns style. One, two.
never met a girl like you that makes me feel the way that you do. I'm asked to make my dreams real. I tell them, baby, that you do. your love that's true baby get ready there I come you want to play hide and seek with love baby let me remind you it's all right out of sight You're gonna miss in the time it takes to find you, baby. You're gonna be out of sight. Tweedle a D, tweedle a down, baby.
this I planned it, baby. It's all right. It's out of sight. I'm bringing you a love that's true. Baby, get ready. Here I come. I'm on my way. I'm coming, baby. I'm going to stay. I'm gonna play a song for y'all. I'm not getting racial here, but somebody told me white guys didn't like big-legged women. What? All I got to tell you, you better not let a brother get a hold of them because Jesus will be a witness. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was in Mississippi as a little boy, Will, you remember Reed Buchanan? In <laughs> most of the school in the country. Ooh, everybody, all the boys started to feel on the legs. I don't know what it is about that. A woman told me something some years ago. She said, all you guys talking about big leg women, that's the first thing you push your side. <laughs> that's, that's what she told me. Alice Harris told me. She said, that's the first thing you push your side. That's true. <laughs> I never thought about it, but... <laughs> Big leg woman, y'all. Go ahead. Go ahead. How y'all enjoying the band so far? I'm in, I, I tell you now, I'm in heaven with these guys. I love these guys so much. To me, there's nothing like the Jimmy Burns band. And, uh, We've been together a minute. We go way back. My wife been dead going on, uh, what, 13 years? And all these guys remember my wife. And I remember coming out here to Rosa back in, uh, I was just getting ready to go. I just got back from Jamaica and was getting ready to go to Europe. Met my wife for vacation. Uh, this was, uh, I don't remember, it was like probably 85, 85. And now they're celebrating their 39th year. This used to be my hangout. Back in the day when I was younger, well, I wasn't that young, but uh, I had a regular day gig, and I would, like, get off and go home and go to sleep and so I could stay up all night. And then I was smoking weed and everything, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Getting high for a big dog. <laughs> I don't mess with it now. We give you two dead flies for it. <laughs> I just have a little drink now and then. Are we straight over there, easy? Okay. I'm gonna see y'all. <laughs> Thank you. 
you better than a hog love slop Cause you're a big leg woman A short short and a skirt
Uh, it was the first time we did this was Bill, me and you and uh, Kenny. Yeah, you know, you remember that? <laughs> I'm about to do it now. This is a tune that first came out back in the 50s before I came to Chicago. I've been in Chicago since 1955. Came here when I was 12 years old. And uh, But this was a big hit by a guy by the name of Lewis Brooks. And then I found out, I thought Lewis Brooks was the vocalist, but he was not the vocalist. He didn't even sing. <laughs> he was a guy, I think it was... Uh, Brady Gaines or something. Uh, anyways, the guy, his brother, I was in Utrecht, Holland one year. I think it was 2000 over in Holland, the Netherlands. And uh, I was with his brother. But this is called This Love 24 Hours a Day. <laughs>
say, Tony. Tony. Please, son. Say what? We do have a gratuity jar. Matter of fact, I'm going to get somebody to walk it around. We're not greedy, just needy. That's the truth. Yeah. And we got birthdays, and I didn't forget them. I just, I just keep forgetting to look over there. Today is a birthday for, I can see it, for bartender Mariah. Where you at? Where you at, girl? Thought a big bear would eat you up. I didn't know. <laughs> Let me stop. Y'all be saying, Jimmy Brown's a dirty old man. They only look that way. <laughs> and then we got Marion. Where you at? And we got Debbie. Is that dead? Debbie, is that the Debbie? The blues couple? Yeah. Girl, is that you? Yeah. That big bear that ate you up. I didn't know. <laughs> Don't kill me, Pete. <laughs> All right. This is, uh, I'm going to play something now. That's... Uh, first of all, I want to 
first time I did this song, well, thank you, Mr. Barry Lowry. You are a kind person. Thank you. First time I did this tune was on uh, public radio down at Navy Pier one year. And uh, I used to do a solo. And then the band kicked in behind me and said, we've been doing it with the band. This tune is... Uh, <laughs> This is by the British group uh, Foreigner. And uh, I played this tune all over the world. I just played it last year someplace down in, uh, I tell you where it was. It was in Argentina at uh, 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 damn, Bebop Club. They said, What song is that? I said, What? Yeah, okay. But I played it everywhere. I've been all over the world. Russia, not going over there now. <laughs> I've been there twice. <laughs> like, <laughs> One that goes like this.
before happens all the time. Closing the door, you leave the world behind. Digging for gold and you're throwing away a fortune and feeling something you pay. Change your mind. Oh, I know, baby. You no longer want to be mine. Treat me like a schoolboy. That you know is true. Makes no difference, darling. I'm gonna take care of you. You're so cold. Say hello to our viewers. We got viewers from uh, Illinois naturally, <laughs> California. I was just down in Florida in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. My granddaughter from New York was just here. Wow. Ever been through uh, Massachusetts in a while? Going all the way to hell up to uh, Maine, getting ready to go over to. New Brunswick, Canada. Y'all know about that? <laughs> Oklahoma, never been there. Kansas, been close. Live streaming on roses and uh, people from the Philippines. I've been to Germany a bunch of times. I was just in Turkey. I was in Turkey for 21 days one time. Hungary, never been there. I got a buddy in Poland. He's always, we talk a lot. He want to know what I think about his blues. I, 
I spent about two weeks with him over there one time, and what was that? I think it might have been about three, 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 before the pandemic, Mark. And I was in Brazil last year for better than a month. And uh, by the time I got back to the United States, hell, our summer was almost over because it was winter down there. You know what was funny to me was I'm in July, late July, because I got back with July the 18th, and this, I was down in Azul. That's another part. Not in, 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 uh, it was colder than hell. It was funny, that time of the year, you see people in big coats and shit, and they're not used to that. They get back to Chicago, it's burning up. <laughs> so what the hell is this? But, but that's the equator, y'all, or the uh, southern hemisphere, whatever. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to let me... That's on there. Is that a tune? Okay. I'm going to tune it. That one is okay. Snip it out. It ain't going to make a difference. Mr. Barnes, Mr. Barnes. Boy, is that you? Sure is. <laughs> Y'all see Tarunzo got me all looking pretty here. He took me out and I got a facial. They trimmed my beard. That was today. I've known this young man a long time. Now he's a big star. He goes all over the world. Yeah. He's been all over the world. Yeah. I first met him, where was I playing? The House of Blues. House of Blues. Yeah, yeah, you was a rough lady rubbing on his face. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody say Bark and Bill? A Buck is in the house? My favorite vocalist. I used to play at his club back in the day. One of the best times I've ever had playing the blues was with that guy. <laughs> Willie Buck, Big Eye Willie Smith, uh, Dave and Lewis, and Big Moose Walker. On a Sunday night, I believe it was. I'm sounding easy. That's it? No, I got to pick here. It is. It's still okay. okay. Yeah, that's your thing with that pick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dedicate this song to my brother Will over there. Will is my oldest brother. Willie Burns. Willie Burns. We used to play together. There were nine of us. The real oldest boy, he was like 15 years older than me. This is about Walter Will. Got to go, y'all. Hey. Baby. 
this is a tune that my, uh, this wasn't the name of my oldest brother, the one that's deceased, the one that's 15 years older than me. Eddie Burns showed me this. Eddie's uh, favorite blues people were like uh, Arthur Big Boy and uh, y'all might not never heard of him. I know y'all heard, well, that's all right, mama. Well, Arthur Big Boy crude up wrote that before Elvis. And uh, my grandmother's favorite blues, man. But uh, a guy by the name of Tony, Tommy McClannan, and y'all heard the name, but you heard his music, but you didn't know it was him. He was the one Albert King did. Crosscut saw, pretty woman, and all of that. All of that was Tommy McClendon stuff. And I got this lick from my brother. He showed this to me. Cause Tommy used to play. But here we go. This ain't a new y'all.
song that uh, I used to play it on when Rose was first open. Tony used to like to play it with me. Uh, Tony, the owner. Come on, Tony, come on up here, man. Let me see if I remember this stuff. I haven't played this stuff in so long. You know, I'm going to tell y'all something. And I didn't always know this. If you don't play it, you forget it. I've had to relearn stuff I wrote. No, this is true. This is true. So I got some tunes now. I don't mess with. I don't mess with. Don't be late. Yeah, I don't mess with that. Grooming with Jimmy. I get part of it, but then the rest of them will fuck it up. So I don't mess with it. Don't mess. No. I ain't messing with it. I ain't messing with it. After the okay, cool. We haven't played this in a while. Let me see if I still remember. Just now, instead of that, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna do that's the way love is, Tony. She might leave So you take it where you find it Leave it like it is That's the way it's always been That's the way love is One of these old days One of these old days gonna look for me baby oh but I'll be gone on 
When you got a headache, Eddie Carter will soothe the pain. When you start to rest, you feel all right again. A man can't break a stone, so he tries another lick. Ice man can't cut his ice. Myself a pick. Now, when you lose your loved one, makes you feel so blue. Then you got a heartache. There ain't nothing you can do. guests in the house. We got Willie Buck, of course. Terranzo Cannon. I don't know who else is here. A lot of people say they're coming. You know, everybody say they're coming, they ain't coming. But some probably, I don't know who's out there. So we're going to take a break here. How about it from a band, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> E.G. You got Terranzo Cannon. The Cannonball. I ran, I ran into this guy all across the world. One time I think I was coming, going somewhere. I think I was in, I was in New York, I think, and you, y'all was coming from Spain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We traveled the globe, y'all. And uh, we got E.G. McDaniel on the bass. Brian T. on the drums. And my partner in crime, Anthony Palmer. Glad to see him here. His wife is here. Hey, Bear. You better watch her. She's from Canada. <laughs> now, I love Canada. You know what I mean? Canada, I'm going to shut up and I'm getting down. To me, Canada is a cross between Europe and the United States. And I played there a lot, a lot, a lot. I mean a lot. Some of the best Chinese food I had was up in uh, Toronto, down on Spadina, in uh, in Chinatown. So I'm taking a we're taking a break, y'all. And please don't forget the gratuity bucket. Not greedy, just needy. Thank you. We'll be right back. I'm gonna have a drink now, though. <laughs> 